Hi, this is Bill. Today I'm gonna review some key points of our hand tools. And this is the notes I took from last year. This is the hand tool notes. And here we go. Uh, first, we learn the, the work standard to see, always select the correct tools for to do to do the uh, correct ways is for the safety efficiency and accuracy and is the there's a tool control all oh, there's a shallow board on the tool box and never remember never put the, the tools on aircraft control surface it, it will damage the uh surface skin of the aircraft keep the tools always shining safety devices and compress the air lower 30 psi and then we learn some uh punches and center punch punches which is the 60 degree provide drip uh uh, the central punch used to put uh, like uh, location first uh, uh, locate the point prevent drill walking and do not punch it too hard or too light too hard will bend the medical and too light you can't make a hole so they will not be preventing drill walking and there's a uh, auto a uh, center punch and we learned the pin punch it's used to remove the rivet and we learned the starting punch is almost the same as the center punch but a uh, different shape and hollow punch transfer punch uh, which is used to transfer the whole position and we also and then we learned the pliers all kinds of pliers split joint pliers and the angle cutters and interlocked joint pliers also another name for it for it's the water pump uh, it's a common plug pliers a vice creep pliers uh, it's just used it to remove the damaged hardware unused again and we learned the uh, duck bill pliers which is also another name aviation plier a uh, flat nose long nose and needle nose pliers it's used for the delicate job and the uh, forceps to hold the drills or small stuff and then we learn next one very important safety wear plier and lock wear plier uh, we use it to do the lock wear and always remember per inch six to eight twist per inch <coughs> rotate and then we learn the retaining ring pliers used to remove or install the retaining ring and cutting tool after that cutting tools and we learn the chisels files shears saws drills hole cutter and reamer first one drills we learn the flat drill also it's called the coat drill because it's commonly used and the drill angle is 70 degree and then we learned the cap drills narrow than the coat drill and that's the correct tool to remove rivet head and then use the ping punch to remove the the rivet shunt from the the hole and then then we learned the round nose chisel and we learn the files. Files is a kind of uh, cutting tools. Uh, always remember when you use the files, always use the handle. And there are two kinds single cut or double cut. It depends on how fun you want to get. Single cut, always uh, a fun work, double cut. It's a, a, a coarse cutting. There are five degrees of the 
fun is that smooth, smooth second cut, bastard cut, and fourth. Um, the the key size and shape of the file. There are there are six kinds of shape files, which is mile file, uh, hand file, uh, half round, triangle, uh, knife, wood rasp, and rings. There should be another one. A round, a round shape, six totally, and. As I said, remember to use the handle, and when you uh, use the files, do not exceed 40 strokes per minute to prevent overheating the stroke, and uh, use the the brass the the brass to to clean the surface of the file or the carb, not a name for the uh, brass. Brush is the the the, the car, and uh, there are two kinds of ways to file: is the cross file and the jaw file. A cross file is for a uh, large bond cutting, and the jaw file is for a uh, surface smooth. And uh, remember you. Use the file card for cleaning the surface of file because the chips fall from the metallic will fill the gap of the file, make it inefficient to cut the metallic. And next one, we learn the clamp squaring shear. Uh, The shear always a uh, right side shank, left foot on, hands on the metal, finger off from the shop, and always first uh, put the metal in place. And use the hand to hold it, power square shear. Hands shear, inner snips. And then we learn the aviation snips. Another name for it is the Dutchman snips. And uh, there are three colors in the aviation snips. Uh, green is for right side cutting. Yellow is the straight cutting. Uh, right is for left cutting. And then we learn the metal saws, hex saws. And there's a standard for cutting at least two teeth in the uh, contact with the metal. Otherwise, it's gonna be too 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 large. Use the wrong size of the saw. <clears throat> and then we learned some types of drills. The most common drills we use in aircraft is the pneumatic air drill because there will be no spark and no uh, electrical shock. It's more safety. And metal drill, wood drill, and we learned that different kind of materials use different kind of drills, uh, like soft uh, metallic, uh, like a pure aluminum. aluminum. The angle of drill is 90 degree, and most of the materials just use the 118 degree. And for the aluminum alloy, because it's harder, uh, use a 135 degree. Um, but when you use uh, some hard stainless steel or some uh, heat treated metal, use a 150 degree drill. The larger degree, the harder metallic metal. And the most common ways for indicate drill size is the ladder number and the uh, fractional. Um, and then we learn the radius gauge. It's used for layout. 
and the speed of drill we we'll use the drill gauge body diameter size hole cutter and for the hole cutter we have the hole saw fly outer and counter sink fly cutter is cutting a large larger hole on metallic the, the key point here is the counter sink is for the rivet rivet to make it more surface aerodynamic less less resistance or drag for the relative wind and uh, we learned the rimmers to make the the holes more smooth and then we learned the tabs that tabs and dies highly coil Um we learn different kinds of dies, screw drivers, screwdrivers, uh there's some slotted tab, Philip tab, uh the read Philip ACR and the tri wing Torx screwdriver which is different from the Allen key, T handle, slotted commons, stuff by ratchet. But ratchet one is really handy. Have for offset screwdriver, uh, screw extractor, um, and speed handle. Um, some tools uh, like Johnson bar screw extractor, quarter pin. Uh, it's the pick pick size, smaller size quarter pin, puller, and we learned the wrenches. Uh, uh, there's a point for the wrenches. Uh, the diameter of the bolt is the size of the wrench, but when you put the torque value on it, it's measured the shank of the bolt, but not the diameter of the head. Bolt shank diameter is used for the torque value. And there are several different kinds of wrench, open end, box end, combination end, combination <coughs> excuse me, uh, speed nut, slip over, stubby wrench, which is very short, and we use that for the two finger stubby wrench method to decrease the damage for the nut or prevent over torque value and we learn different kinds of sockets deep socket standard socket and some universal socket uh, adapters and uh, cross feet some clearance not enough we use the extension and if it's too hard to loose the knot use the breaker bar ratcheting adapters uh, it's not common speed handle speed up remove is for remove not the uh, pattern extensions further from the handle and we use the uh, we learn the universal joint which is a kind of uh, <coughs> socket adapter it's different from the universal socket. Universal socket is a socket, but the universal joint is a socket adapter. It needs to be contact with the socket too. And the adapters to switch from dif different size of dr ratchet drive from corner to three eighths. Oh, by the way, the most common size for the ratchet uh, ratchet drive is quarter one, quarter inch one. And then we learn the torque wrench value. Always remember, use the correct unit. It's feet pound or inch pound. Never over torque it. If you over torque it, you have to remove 
lose the knot and have it checked and redo the talk again. Never over talked and always proper talked. Um, and that's it for this module hand tools. Thank you very much.